project basically is a community engagement project where, where police engage with members um, entering the safe night precinct of Cephas Paradise. Um, they're offered a free RBT um, because obviously preloading is an issue in our, in our safe night precincts where people actually go out and drink before they, they come out. From other studies we found that um, first of all that people about 80% of people were preloading, now it's about 90%. Um, and what we found is that the preloading predicts how drunk people are when they go home with a huge amount of variance. We can predict it quite accurately. So how drunk you are when you turn up predicts how drunk you are when you leave the city. By spending 10 minutes with a patron to, to do an RBT, to give them their reading, to explain to them, you know, uh, the, the issues with, with, their, with their reading in relation to them becoming a victim or, or possibly an offender later on the night. People underestimated quite drastically how drunk they were. They overestimated how drunk everybody else was in the city. Um, and so in their mind, they're playing catch up all the time. As a result of this initiative, my frontline officers has observed a dramatic reduction in the number of alcohol fuel violence incidents and a reduction in the number of arrests, a reduction in the use of force that we have to apply to resolve those incidents, and overall a more positive engagement experience with the patrons on the nights that this is run. There was a, um, a reduction in the number of assaults, about 58%. Um, increase in police legitimacy. A lot of people don't have contact with police and they seem to think that police only engage with members of the public when they're taking enforcement action, whereas this is, uh, is quite the opposite. It's, a, it's like it's a positive community engagement activity and they get something out of it and we get something out of it.